Modules allow you to break up your code into separate files. This allows you to organize and keep your code clean. A module can export code in several ways, and this will affect the way the consumer imports it. Here we have a module that has a function and some variables. One way to export something is by setting a default. So we can add export default to the beginning of the function. We also have a consumer, which is the main JavaScript file that is defined in the HTML file. Here we can import the function like this. Note that this requires either a relative or absolute URL. So use either dot slash or slash before the file name whichever is applicable. Now we can use the function in our consumer. When importing a default export, you can name the import whatever you want. Note that you can only have one default export per module, and a default export is not required. We can export more than one thing from a module. We just need to add export before it. Now in our consumer, we can import those as well. Note that the default export does not require curly braces, but the others do. We can also rename these in our consumer by using an alias. Now, in order to make all of this work in our browser, we have to add type equals module to our script tag in our index.html file. This tells the browser that this script will be using modules. So what is the benefit of using modules? Modules are tree shakeable. The consumer can import only what they need, which results in smaller bundles and better performance. ES Modules was introduced in 2015. However, as with any newer technology, it's important to check compatibility. As of the date of this video, browser compatibility for JavaScript modules is at 88%. So if you want to support older browsers, you'll want to use something like Babel to compile your code. This has been a 90 second JavaScript January.